TV. I'm joined here today by the Improverts. Hi, how's it going? Um, so what can the audience expect to see from your show? I think expecting anything specifically is a dangerous thing. Um, I, I mean, in terms of expectations, we are short form improvisers. We play a series of games kind of along the concept of like, who's like it anyway, all that kind of thing. But um, yeah, um, ex yeah, it's hard to expect, expect whatever they tell us to do. Yeah, it's really. An hour of lighthearted fun. <laughs> Love okay. it. So it's always going to be fun. It will always be fun. It will. Yeah. It will so always you never run out of fun. We um, never run out of fun. The audience may do, we will. Um, where do your games come from? Where do you get them from? Um, lots of them are kind of very classic <laughs> improv ones, which we have stolen in the course of years. But from like TV shows? Yeah, most of, I mean, most of our games have just been the ones that have been passed down generation to generation for the yeah. various people in the show. Yeah, um, people that have been to yeah, to be honest, and the games that we throw in don't tend to be ones we've seen on other stuff. We quite like making up quite ridiculous games, and we find funny. Like what? What's the most ridiculous? Game? Definitely mutual endowment. That's the most that? ridiculous game. That's <laughs> never, 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 never been played. The premise of that game is that everyone who's in the game leaves the room. The audience decide amongst themselves what's happening, and then everyone comes back in, and based on the audience reaction, have to guess what it is. It's not quite sure. It doesn't make any sense. It's, 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 it's not a game. It's not a game. It's not a game. So you've not managed to play that yet? No. The no. most most confusing game. I don't know. Like that we actually do. That we actually do. Kind of like that one. Oh, oh, Half Life. Half Life. Half Life is pretty confusing. Half Life is a difficult one. Where you start with a, a scene, a minute long scene, and then you have to cut it down to 30 seconds and then 15 seconds. You do the same scene in less yeah. time each time. Oh, right. Which confuses us, it confuses the audience. Yeah. Okay. And what do you do in your rehearsals? You just play the game. In theory, in theory or in reality? Yeah. <laughs> Theoretically, we, we play the game. We work hard. There are you know, classic styles and stuff. Otherwise, it's sort of eight hours making dick jokes. Yeah, it can be. It can be. Can be. Uh, essentially, we just have a laugh. Like, the most important thing, as we have said, is, is the chemistry between us and that we get to know each other. We, yeah. We've got to know actually. The games take a lot of work. Yeah, we've got about 20 games that we might pick from when we get a night, and you can't go on stage with us. Yeah. So it's just making sure you understand. Yeah, I mean, the joy of it, obviously, is we don't have to do any kind of stuff. Whatsoever. It's a really lovely thing, and instead it's just an hour where we get to be just totally connected to our audience and have a really good laugh, and it's like a special experience that no one outside that room will understand. It's one of those, it's like an hour of a big intro where if you come out with this great thing where this guy was a dentist for a shark, and that's not funny, it's no. never funny, but in that room, something has to see comes a really lovely hour. Uh, well, thank you very much, Ben. Yeah. Um, so your show is going to be on uh, the Bedroom Theatre at half past midnight. Yeah. Um, um, and we're going to be doing the show. Yes. So people should go see the show. Um, so it was Imogen with Bottle TV, and keep watching.